joined with Stephen F. Austin, head men's basketball coach, Kyle Keller. Coach, thank you so much for joining me. You got it, Maddie. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Before we get underway talking about this upcoming season, let's reflect back on last year. 28-3 overall, 19-1 in conference and conference champions. What are you most proud of what your team was able to accomplish last year? Um, just the perseverance of, of, of finishing the race. Uh, I think our guys were able to finish the race, what we set out to do, and, and really excited about how our guys just continue to, to – take it one game at a time and, and uh, continue to grow stronger as the, as the season went on. I mean, they were obviously a really fun group to be around. And, and uh, it was just a, a, a really a fun year. You know, one of those years, 30 years of coaching that you enjoy. You know, you'll remember, obviously, for a lot of different things, but, but uh, just the camaraderie and the relationships that you build. We see a monumental moment behind you, that Duke game. Players like Kevon Harris, Nate Bain, John Como, obviously not with the program anymore. What what can you say about the legacy and what they left behind there? Well, they created their own. I mean, every senior team has – they're known for their year. And, and those three guys, you know, the, the even though they're, they're, there's three of them, uh, they were very singular. And they – built a wall around each other and they you could not divide those three up and they led our team from start to finish and they had great passion for each other and they totally played for Stephen F. Austin and I think hopefully you know in their leadership they they showed the other guys that we brought back you know how to lead a program and I think that's really something that hopefully our guys have learned from the past I think we all learn from history right and and if you don't, you're pretty ignorant. But, you know, you, and you think it's important to learn what not to do. And hopefully our guys learn what to do and what not to do from last year's team. Kevon Harris, Nate Bain, John Como, great leaders on and off the court. Who has stepped up in their place going into this upcoming season? Well, it's, you know, the pandemic has changed everything. It's changed our team a lot. Um, you know, we I think we've got some good seniors. Uh you know, Rati Ware is, is, is taking on a different role. Every team changes. Every, every It's a new team, totally new team. Um, even though we've got a bunch of returners, uh, Rati's done a good job. Gavin Kinsmill is a productive player. He's a hardworking guy. Cameron Johnson was a very productive player for us last year. Uh, David Kakaris and, and, and uh, uh, Charlie Daniels, our five seniors on this year's team, uh, their roles have changed, and they have to change with the role. They have to embrace it. They have to embrace being a senior. They, their name is on this team, and, and it's different. You know, they can't hide. They can't, you know, play behind those three seniors we had a year ago. And, and so it's a different deal for them. And they've done a good job as far as setting the tone, set, understand what the standards are. Um, but it is different. You know, they get the brunt of, of, of mine and our staff, and, and uh, uh, the best players are get coached the hardest, and which is different for those guys. Your team last year led the Southland Conference in scoring offense. You mentioned a couple of those players, Cameron Johnson, Roti, Gavin. They come back this year, and they were three of your top four scorers. What, what type of confidence does that provide you, knowing that you have that production coming back? Well, you know, they know how to put the ball in the basket. You know, our team will be different this year. We'll, we're, their skill set's a little bit different than the guys that we lost a year ago. We'll play a little bit different. Uh, I am excited. They do know how to put it in the basket. Uh, but I think that our identity of our program, I, I hope, has always been start on the other end of the court playing defense. Uh, we score a lot off our defense. And, uh, you know, right now we're not, we're not real good defensively. Um, but – uh, I think, you know, the comfort level, I guess, as a coach is you know that those guys have made big baskets when, they, when it counts. And, and uh, so hopefully when it, when it gets to January, we'll, we'll figure out how we're going to stop somebody. Your team was picked as the preseason favorite going into this upcoming season. How, as a head coach, do you handle that? How do you approach that with the team? We've never talked about it. You know, I think that's for you all or the – social media or anything like that. I mean, that's just solely on guys that we had returning and, and history. And, and we, that's, we get to play a game. It's just like the conference tournament. You, you get to determine who's going to uh, uh, play. I mean, I know there's 12 other coaches that think they're going to win the league and, and, and they should. I mean, that's why we play the games. I mean, 
we never mentioned we never mentioned it at all. I mean, we we set goals for ourselves just like everybody else, and they want to win. And and uh, our motivation is, is truly just to be our best every day, and and uh, uh, that's what we're trying to do. And and when when we're through playing, we get evaluated on what the scoreboard is and what the records are, and we'll see where they are when we add them up. 